Hey y'all, it's Kylie and today I have a really fast and easy list of my must-have lettering supplies if you're wanting to get into brush lettering specifically. So let's go ahead and jump in with the pencil. So for me, it always starts with a pencil sketch and I don't think you need to start with a fancy pencil. So I think a number two pencil or whatever you have in your junk drawer will be just fine because you're gonna be sketching a lot in those beginning stages of learning how to letter. So it's really important to have a bunch of pencils on hand and also not be scared of that sketching process and of having to start over which is why you'll also need erasers. I have a lot of fancy erasers that I've collected and they all serve a different purpose, but for you, just pick up a pack of extra erasers because you're gonna need them, trust me. Now we have the fun tools and these are the pens. So I mentioned that this video is for brush lettering specifically. So I've got four different types of pens and they can all achieve brush lettering look or actual brush lettering. So let's start with this Paper Mate flare pen. This is what I started lettering with way back when, and it's what they call a monoline pen, which means the nib is stiff, it doesn't move, and you don't have to do anything special to create a stroke. But I'm gonna show you how you can make that look really cool and brush lettered in just a moment. I also have a Sharpie, and I included this because I know we all have those at home. They come in really pretty colors, and that can be really fun for when you're getting started. Then I have a small brush pen. So this is the Tombow Futunosuke brush pen and it creates the brush lettered look because the pen nib is flexible and you'll learn how to use that when you're getting into brush lettering. I also have a large brush pen and this is the Tombow dual brush pen. So this is considered large because you can see the difference in those brush strokes. So how do you make those top two lines look like the bottom two lines? And that's with what we call faux calligraphy. And faux calligraphy is where you go back in and you thicken those downstrokes yourself. And this is a technique that you also learn when you're getting into brush lettering. So you don't actually need brush pens to create a brush lettered look. You can do that with just a regular pen, something that you already have at home. And then once you kind of get that practice down and are more aware of where your downstrokes are supposed to go, you can invest in those fancier brush pens. And you can do the same with a Sharpie and you can just kind of go over those downstrokes, thicken them up, and then you have virtually the same thing. Paper is a really important piece of this puzzle if you're gonna get into brush lettering because you need to have proper paper. So you actually need a really smooth, ultra smooth cardstock or paper to letter on with brush pens because brush pen nibs tend to be really delicate and they'll get frayed if you letter on notebook paper or even just plain copy paper. So I have the link for this specific cardstock in the description box as well as the blog post that goes along with this video but it's just a really smooth cardstock that you can pick up at most stores craft stores or Walmart or a place like that and it's very cheap and it does come loose leaf that's kind of the only downfall to it but I actually I've grown so used to it that it doesn't really bother me that things aren't super organized but it's a really good bang for your buck we also have tracing paper. I think every beginner should have some tracing paper on hand because it's just incredible for muscle memory practice. So all you do is you place your little practice sheet under a sheet of tracing paper. Then you're able to go directly on top of the tracing paper and it's also really smooth as well and it's like butter, honestly, lettering on it. And then you can get in your muscle memory practice and you can just practice and practice for days and days because a huge part of lettering is practice and just building up that muscle memory. Lastly, I included some artist marker paper. This is a little more expensive, but it's super smooth. It works perfectly for markers or for brush pens, and it doesn't come loose leaf. So if you're a little more into having things all in one spot and keeping things together and organized, then this would be for you. But once again, this is a more expensive option. And I've got everything linked below in the description box and in the blog post that goes along with this video. And lastly, you knew I was gonna include it. I've got some resources, and the one resource that I'm gonna recommend in this video is my book. This is called Super Simple Hand Lettering. Just came out at the beginning of this year, and I think it is an incredible resource for beginners wanting to learn to letter. So what's really special about this book is that you can actually practice directly in the book. So it's a workbook, 
and a teaching resource all in one. So you just grab your brush pen and you can letter directly on top of the super smooth paper that's included. It's for a large brush pen or a small brush pen. And then throughout the book, I actually have 20 separate unique alphabets that you can trace and then draw your own. So this alphabet, alphabet number nine, is for a small brush pen. So you can just go in, trace uppercase and lowercase, and then on the next page, as you flip over, you're encouraged to do your own version and to try it without tracing. So it really um, encourages every artist to do their own thing, and it comes with tracing paper in the back. So I think this is an incredible book, also linked below. And lastly, I wanted to tell you about another resource that I have coming on May 2nd, and that is the Learn to Letter class. It's an online class for complete beginners, and it's going to be really affordable, really basic, and just everything you need to know about getting started with lettering, including how to brush letter, folk calligraphy, learning about serifs, block letters, adding personality, um, basic script, basic print lettering style and just everything the beginner could ever want to know to move forward with confidence in their lettering. So that's coming out on May 2nd and you can actually enroll right now to know about when the class is going to launch and be one of the first people to pick it up and start learning immediately. So if that's something you're interested in just click the link below and I hope to see you on that list. Don't forget to check out the blog post below for more information. I know I sped through this, the speed of light, but that's what the blog post is for. I'll see you next Monday. Bye guys.